YouTube. So today I want to show you guys who have the activation locked iPhones uh, bypass for iOS 9.1. Uh, works with the 9.2 betas and uh, as well as iOS 9.0.2, 9.0.1. This is kind of a temporary bypass. It doesn't allow full access to the home screen, but it allows a lot of access to many different functions of the phone is very useful so you can at least get some use out of your device instead of it being a brick. Uh, now to be able to do this you're probably stuck at this screen like most users you're gonna actually want to head back you're gonna need your device and an active Wi-Fi in the area you're in. If you're on the Wi-Fi screen um, just you'll want to hit the home button here but head into the Wi-Fi screen in case you're not so choose any region as long as it's in your language press and hold the home button for just a second and you'll actually see the options come up here you're going to want to choose the more Wi-Fi settings from here you'll see the little eye you want to tap the eye here this is going to allow you to kind of change the Wi-Fi that you're on the thing is though is you've been connected to the Wi-Fi so it's, wouldn't, it's not going to work so you're going to need to forget this network what this is going to do is this is going to take all the Wi-Fi settings completely off. You want to back right out of there so the next is grayed out. Once the next is grayed out, you're going to want to go to the little eye. Oops, make sure you click the one that you actually want. Now here is where we're going to actually do the bypass. So we're going to use a DNS server bypass. So that means you're going to want to choose the DNS field. Now. Uh, right up and along here you're going to see a bunch of different server um, IP addresses in there for different areas so if you're in North America you'll choose the top server if you're in Europe choose the middle if you're in Asia choose the bottom and then if you um, find that it doesn't work try changing up the servers I'm near North America or in North America so I'm going to choose the North American one so I'm just going to enter that in Once you have that, hit the return key so that it skips a field. Now hit back. Now from here you're going to want to click on it again and enter in the password for that Wi-Fi. So once you've done that, you want to hit join. Now it's going to want to jump you right away into the activation again and you're going to want to click the back button that's just right here. So make sure you hit that back button and then if it works it'll pop up here. If it doesn't hit the next and then hit the back button again and then wait. Sometimes you have to wait a little while because the server uh, just isn't responding. If it does work for you, this is the screen that you'll see. So you've activated the iCloud bypass. Um, this server is free, so make sure if you guys uh, want to support it or see more development done with this that you guys donate for these guys. You can also see, it once again, the active servers that they have available and that are um, up. Now, how do you use this? So I can show you guys quickly through the menu. You can click the little tab here, or if you noticed, you can also choose the menus here. Language will just change the language of the system you're on. Menus is where you'll find all the options. When you go in here, you'll see you have a whole bunch of options, including mail, internet, social media, which means contacts and stuff like that. You can uh, open up your maps. If you have a SIM in, you can use text messaging. The news app is available. Uh, marketing is I'm not really too sure. I'm going to go check that out. Um, you also have access, so if, if there's stuff on this device, you'd be able to listen to like the movies and stuff like that. And I believe um, home sharing works over that, as well as applications and then Game Center too. Um, games, I believe there is a couple games that are available over this, so you can actually play a few games. Well, not just a few. There's quite a few games that are available, so here we'll open up Flappy Bird. 
and you'll actually be able to use a game on your device that's iCloud Lock, so that's pretty cool. And looks like it's all ad supported as well, so make sure you have a ad blocker at the router. <laughs> And here we go, so I'm playing, oops, I should have been paying attention. I'm actually able to play, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess it doesn't let me restart from there. Uh, oh, you can hit the back button and restart. Ah, <laughs> anyways, so... That's pretty neat, like you can get a lot more use out of the device than it just sitting around. Let's go back in here and I'll show you guys a few other options. So in applications here, they'll probably have a whole bunch more. Yeah, so the, there's a whole bunch of applications that you can use. You could do it even a speed test, so that's pretty cool. Like they've incorporated a lot of um, different things that you can kind of get use out of the device. So, it's not as useless as um, it just sitting around. It seems to actually work pretty good. It's interested in markets. So, you could actually access your bank accounts, you could shop with uh, Amazon, and they've incorporated a lot into this. It's really neat to see if it um, can go even further th than what it is and so we can actually see we're locked so there you guys go that is the iCloud DNS bypass for iOS 9 users who are stuck uh, you'll get a lot more functionality out of your device than you're getting right now definitely check this out if you have uh, any questions please leave them down below if it's not working for you and give this video a like subscribe to the channel for more iCloud unlocks in the future hopefully we'll actually have a full iCloud bypass I will definitely cover it if it ever comes out thanks for watching guys we'll see you again next time cheers hey guys welcome back so in this video I'm going to be talking about two ways in which you can um, get past the activation uh, lock, the iCloud activation lock. So if you guys have bought a device second hand and it's still locked to someone else's Apple ID, then I'm going to show you how to get past this and um, still bring back some functionality to the device. So I'm going to be showing you one of these methods, which I know works 100% for everyone. And then I'm going to be talking about another method, which is actually a better method, but doesn't work on the latest iOS 8.4 just yet. So I'll still explain it though. Anyway, so I'm going to go and you want to start setting up the iPods or the iPhone so you get you should get it on this screen, slide to set up, so you slide, choose your language, choose your country, and then when you get to the Wi-Fi, you want to choose a Wi-Fi, put in the correct password, and I just put that in wrong, sorry about that. Alright, so you're going to connect to the Wi-Fi, and then the next button should show, or it should take you to the next screen, and then you'll be on the activation lock screen. So it says you have to enter the Apple ID that's used to set up the iPod, and you can't go any further than that, you can't click next. If you press the home button, you simply just get some options. So, to bring back some functionality to this device, all we need to do, for the method I'm going to show you, is we're going to press the home button once, click on Wi-Fi settings, and it's going to bring back up the Wi-Fi. Wait for the tick to go, then click the I again, scroll down to DNS, and I'll have free DNS servers in the description. You want to choose the one that best suits uh, your country. So, alright, so this is the DNS for Europe, so you want to type that in the DNS and you want to click back. And then you're just going to wait a couple of seconds, then you want to join the network again, so you want to put back in the password, so I'll quickly do that.
and then join the network and you want to wait until you get your Wi-Fi connection and then a little pop-up should come up from the bottom of the screen and when you see this this means you have successfully connected to this server so as you can see it's icloudDNSbypass.com and it says hello hello you have select you successfully connect to my server and uh, it says a little bit about it now what you can actually do within this server is still use quite a lot of the features within iOS without ever ha actually having to activate the iPod so if you go down to first of all this language so you can choose a language but then you can go down to menu and within here there is a lot of cool stuff so first of all there's an, a chat for everyone who is locked out of their device. So you can actually go in there and chat with other people about it. Um, there's the flashlight, which actually gives you access to the camera. Although it does seem to be a little bit glitchy on the iPod Touch. So if I open up the camera, as you can see, it's just black. It doesn't actually show anything. But you can still use the flashlight within here, which also seems to be a bit glitchy. But yeah, it does have some features there with the camera but um, what you're going to most likely probably want to use is social which gives you access to social media so Facebook, Twitter, many things like that, Instagram uh, there's actually just the internet so you can go to any website you want mail, maps, SMS, news, markets, interest in videos so you can actually go on YouTube, Vine, all these different things here and um, audio so you can listen to music and um, there's applications and I'm going to go over this in a bit, uh, a bit more detail in a minute but there's a few things you can use here and then finally there's games which is actually pretty cool you can play um, Flappy Bird within this server without ever leaving the setup app so it does seem to have a few adverts because obviously this is all web based so you do need an internet connection to be able to use your device like this but um, it's better than nothing, it's better than being locked out completely, so you click skip add and there you go, you're playing Flappy Bird and the device is not even activated, so it's quite cool and um, you just go back into their menu just below that we do have set in server information and iCloud Freedom, so you guys can play around with this as well about this device and. Um, Seems to think it's an iPhone, but it's not. But it's, as you can see, I'm on iOS 8.4, and iCloud activation is locked. So, yeah, that is basically how you can bring back some functionality to your device. And actually, there's quite a lot of good stuff in here. So, yeah, now I'm going to talk about the other method, which I can't actually show you because it doesn't work on iOS 8.4. But if you guys are on an earlier version, then you can probably do this, and this is going to be a permanent removal of the iCloud lock. So basically what you do, you do do the same thing I just did, so you get onto this server page, you want to go to menu, applications, and then scroll down to where you see the crashes, so there's crash 3, crash 2, and crash 1, and uh, iOS 7 only as you see there, crash 1, then we have captive portal and iOS 8 to 8.3. So what you, these basically do, these buttons here are designed to crash the setup.app. So if you don't know much technical information about iOS, the screen that we're on when we're setting it up and the activation lock, that's actually all within an application. Although it may seem like it's just a setup system, it's actually an application that allows you to set up your device. So the idea is that we have to crash the app just like any other app can crash. The idea is to crash the setup app and that will put you on the home screen. So depending on your version, you're gonna use one of these different crash things and try to crash out of the setup.app once you're out of it and you're on the home screen, then what you can do is connect your device to a computer, jailbreak the device, and then you can go, once you're jailbroken the device, you can download iFile from Cydia, open up iFile, go all the way back as far as you can go, go into your applications folder, find the setup.app, the app that we're in right now.